What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. In this video, I want to share with you guys how to cook in Albion Online. In the last video, I went over all of the foods and the foods effects and when or where you should use these foods. In this video, I want to go over cooking. How do you cook these foods? What are the ingredients you need? And is cooking really profitable in this game? So cooking, the first thing you're gonna need is when you open your destiny board, you unlock the trainee farmer as soon as you start the game. But the node you're gonna need after that is called the Souse Chef. Um, and when you unlock this node, you will be able to craft some of the tier three stuff, such as the wheat soup, the chicken pie, and the chicken omelet, and some of these foods down here. So once you reach 2700 fame and you unlock this node, you're able to craft some of the tier three stuff. And when you continue down into the main chef node, this node right here is basically the main node of cooking. So every time you cook something, you'll get fame for cooking and that fame will come through and fuel this node right here. So that's how you level up the node. As you can see, I'm level 60 out of 100. That means I can craft all the way to tier seven foods. But when you begin, you'll be level one out of 100 and you're able to craft some of the tier four stuff. So you can craft some of the turnip salads, you can do some goat sandwiches, some goat stews, basically all of these foods up here, but you're able, you're also able to craft some of the ingredients. Crafting foods in this game, as you can see, require some ingredients so you can, you know, craft them. Um, and when you unlock a level one in the chef uh, node right here, you're able to do stuff like gather or chop raw goats. Uh, you're able to craft some goat's butter and some bread. And some of my past videos, I actually have two videos, uh, one for animal raising and one for crop farming. Um, in those videos, I go over some of the th ingredients that you can do, uh, especially for animal raising. When you raise an animal, so let's just do an example on a goat. When you raise a goat, once it's done raising, when it, you feed it and once it's fully grown, you have the choice of either taking that goat, going into a butcher, chopping that goat for meat, and then using that meat for crafting or just sell off the meat in the market. Or what you can do is keep the goat in the pasture, feed it again, um, and once you feed it again, it will produce that specific animal's produce. So for example, for a goat, if you feed a fully grown goat, it will start producing goat milk. So the goat's milk can be used for goat's butter, and that butter can be used to craft something like a goat sandwich. Uh, so that's how kind of ingredients work. As you can you know, level up, you can actually start doing other ingredients, such as sheep butter. So when you are raising sheep, uh, you can actually feed the grown sheep um, and they'll start producing sheep milk as well as the goat, the, the cow's butter for the cow's milk and stuff like that. So as you level up your node, you're able to unlock more foods that you can craft and more of the uh, ingredients that you can craft. There are some ingredients that you cannot necessarily, uh, you know, it doesn't unlock through here, such as, for example, there's stuff uh, like uh, wheat and I think you unlock flour from here. Yeah, you unlock the flour from the the south chef uh, for the flour what you can get is you can you know farm some wheat get the wheat go into i think it's a a mill you, yeah you go to a mill and then it you know it will refine into a flour so how do you do cooking let's say we want to cook some let's say a goose pie so we can actually come here into the market. You can do this without using the market, but for this video, I don't necessarily want to raise any of the animals or any of the crops. So again, cooking, you can raise everything yourself. You can, you know, chop the animals yourself and raise the crops yourself, or you can simply come to a market and there's people selling ingredients for you. Um, and usually the ingredients are cheaper than a fully cooked meal. Uh, so that's how kind of profitability works. You can buy ingredients for cheap, and then you can sell it off a full, uh, you know, a full food, a full meal off to the market for more, uh, more money. So we come here and let's say we want to craft that uh, goose, goose pie. Actually, we're going to click on the buy. And as you can see, I'm actually selling some goose pies. Um, and I'll show you right now how profitable it is. As you can see, I actually crafted around 100 goose pies not that long ago and they basically sold off this guy purchased 
67 goose pies from me and I made a total of 177,000 silver. Uh, so you can see the profitability of cooking once you start leveling up your cooking. And I'll talk about the specialist nose in a little bit. And that's how you're gonna make a, a lot and a lot of money. So we're gonna craft a goose pie. Um, and when you click on a food, I don't necessarily can show you all the foods. I think you can come here and go into consumable and cook. And you can just scroll through this and see all of the kind of, you know, kind of foods that you can cook. But you can also just press B and go into the chef, you know, chef node. And you can just look through here and, you know, see what kind of food you want to craft. So we're going to do a goose pie uh, because it's been pretty profitable for me to do a goose pies. So I uh, hear the goose pie. You can sell it for around 2,650 silver per pie. Um, and what it takes is I'm gonna click on it. It takes about six cabbage cabbage are crops that you can grow on your uh, Crop farming. So let's just go ahead and purchase six cabbage. So I'm gonna search for cabbage um, I think we need not, not cook. Let's click all so we're gonna purchase We're actually gonna make ten uh, ten Like orders and I'll show you why I didn't say ten of the pies uh, because I want to explain some stuff uh, about the profitability and how much pie or how much goose pies you get per crafting of these resources uh, So we're gonna get ten crafting, you know ten of these pies you can say for the crafting so we need 60 of these cabbages so I'm gonna buy 60 that cost me around 16,000 um, And we're gonna do how much is that 120 flour so flour 120 it's about 45,000. This is probably gonna be the most expensive raw goose. So I'm gonna do raw goose and 140, which is 95,000. And we're gonna go with 60 goats milk. And we're gonna buy 60 of these. So in total, if you can click here, I wasted around 160, 170,000 uh, silver. And as you can see, you it, sh it kind of like seems like you're wasting silver uh, because when you buy these ingredients, um, I just bought enough ingredients for 10 pies, or at least that's what the game shows you, uh, especially in the market. And you can see that 10 pies, if I go into a goose pie, if I went off and bought 10 pies, I can buy 10 pies for 26,000. So how the heck am I spending over 170,000 silver on an, you know on all the ingredients if I can simply just buy the pie for 26,000 um, And this is where I'm gonna show you guys some of the uh, some of these stuff. So I'm actually gonna come and go into the uh, The cook so the chef you can say the cook little slot So in Carleon, this is the you know where you want to buy uh, this is the cheapest little note here for the cook So I'm just gonna cut the video and walk all the way over there and then I'll keep explaining how to cook all right, so we're here into the cook. Uh, this is the cheapest I could find in Carleon. It has a 45% usage fee. Uh, but we can scroll down and check that the pie right here, the goose pie, I can craft around 30 of them. Um, but you can see that every time I craft a pie, I actually get 10 of them. So this is what I was talking about earlier, where it, you know, I, you know, Buying 10 pies would cost you 26,000, but it seemed like buying the ingredients for a pie um, cost 160, 170,000 silver. So that's not really profitable. So uh, this is why it kind of gets confusing until you come to the cook. And the cook will show you that every time you have ingredients to quote unquote craft one pie, you actually have enough to craft 10. Uh, sorry, where's the pie? Right here, the pie. You actually have enough to craft 10. Now, this is the most popular cook right now in Carleon, so it's going to be overused. So, we're going to have to craft, for example, we're going to do um, 20. So, we're going to get 20 pie. But you can see that as I continue crafting, uh, I get the build crafting capacity limit reached. That's because there's a lot and a lot of people crafting here right now, even though you can't see it because of the region overpopulated that it needs to kind of cool down a little bit um, to, you know, to continue cooking. So you can just wait a little bit and continue crafting. So I actually, with 10 of them, so I bought ingredients for 10 crafting, 
which equals 100 of the pies. And if my math is correct, correct, I can sell the pies for 2,600 uh, per pie. So I can make a profit of 260,000 silver and it only cost me uh, 170. So I made over 90,000 uh, profit from crafting these pies. So it's gonna take a little while for me to craft all of them because all of these people are trying to craft at the same time. So I'll be back when I crafted all of the pies. So I'm done crafting and as you can see, I actually made 110 because of that 15% uh, return rate uh, when you craft in Caerleon or in outside the city, not in your island. That's why I suggest never to kind of make um, any like any plots in your island about crafting or gathering or refining because you don't get that 15% return rate. So I got 110 pies. And before we go back, I want to explain how enchanting works. There are enchantments in foods and consumables. So for example, for the goose pie, I can still craft a 5.3 goose pie. And to craft this, you actually need something called a fish saw or a special fish saw, a fish saw, fish sauce, sorry. Um, so for example, if I wanna do a 5.3, I need 30 basic fish sauce. And the fish sauce are basically crafted by uh, 15 chopped fish and one seaweed. You can actually come all the way up here and this is how you craft them here. So for if you want to make a 5.1 ghost uh, goose pie, you'll come here, make a basic fish sauce, 15 chopped fish with uh, one seaweed, and you need around 30 of them to enchant that pie into a 5.3. And then you can do the same for a 5.2 and 5.3. They're just special sauces that you can make. So for the 5.2 or the tier, uh, the enchantment two, you need 30, uh, 45 chopped fish and three seaweed. And then for the special fish sauce, which is the enchantment three, you need 125 chopped fish and nine seaweed, and you need 30 of them in total to enchant. And the enchantment helps the food with the quality. So, you know, the 5.3 goose pie will sell for a whole lot more than just a regular goose pie. Even though most gatherers, especially for pies, they don't necessarily buy enchanted uh, foods. That's what I've seen. Mostly they just buy a, you know, the tier seven uh, pies, like the seven, the, what's it called? It's called the pork pie. Yeah, the pork pie for the tier seven pies. They buy those and with that, they have a 15% return rate. And purchasing an enchanted pie is too expensive for the small amount of extra return or the extra yield that they get. So as you can see, we crafted 110 of these pies and we're gonna go off and try selling them in the market for an, a return, for an extra profit. So it cost us again 170,000 for all of the uh, little ingredients. And we're gonna go off and sell it for around 260,000 for around a 90,000 return. Um, and as you can see, that's how you know profitable some of the foods are. We have someone who is selling the goose pie for around 2,650. So we're actually gonna undercut him and we're gonna sell it for 2,642. Let's do 42, create order. And if all of these pies get fulfilled, I'll make a total of 284,000 uh, silver. That means in profit, I made 100,000 silver. And that did not take me long. All I have to do is wait for these pies to sell. And as you can see, I also had an order not that long ago and my pies again were selling uh, every so often every couple minutes they were selling some pies until this guy right here wait I can find him right here yeah this guy right here we got uh, Asaka 2 who bought 67 pies for a total of 177,000 silver so that's how cooking works in this game and the profitability of cooking Again, to do this, you need ingredients, and the ingredients you can find by either raising animals or by, you know, farm cropping. Um, and if you don't want to do those, you can easily buy the ingredients for cheap on the market. Go out, level up your cooking, and when you cook the cook, well, you cook the meal with the ingredients, you can actually make some returns uh, by cooking those. As you can see, I crafted a hundred and 10 pies and I leveled up four levels. So cooking, you can actually level up really fast. 
Um, I'm, you know, four levels at this rate. I can make, I can be tier eight or level hundred in no time. Um, I did want to explain the specialist little nodes here. So as you can see, I was also leveling up the pie chef. Every time you cook a specific food, they, you can, you're basically going to be leveling up one of the specialist, uh, little nodes here. So here's the omelet chef and here's the stew chef. And what you do is when you specialize on one food, for example, if I want to become a full pie chef, every time I cook pies, my chef pie node here will level up. And every time I level up, I basically get an efficiency for crafting that food. So if I'm level 100 pie chef, every time I craft a pie, I actually get more returns or more efficiency for crafting those pies. So instead of getting 110, if I was level 100 spec, I could have gotten 200, 200 or an, 100 extra pies for having 100 spec. And that's how you can see, that's how you, you know, in the end game, you can become more profitable as you level up your specs. Uh, because when you focus on leveling up one node and, you know, trying to level that one node up and you get that spec up, these are the specs for the pie, you'll see that eventually you become very, very profitable for cooking that specific food. Uh, so for me, I'm kind of specializing for now by cooking pies uh, because I have seen a lot of fortune for cooking pies um, and a lot of gatherers, kind of low tier gatherers, want to take out some of the pies to go gather um, and I'm trying to help out the market by pumping out pies, which in turn pumps out more, uh, you know, more ores or more wood resources by those gatherers. So I hope this video was informative. If it was, make sure you hit that like button. Comment below any kind of suggestions for upcoming Albion videos. And if you're enjoying these videos, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you subscribe for more content. And I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.